everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So when you get the jet drive for the first time and you plug it into the SD card slot on your Mac, then it's gonna come as an XFAT drive. And today I'm gonna to show you what to do is to convert the XFAT into APFS. So APFS is gonna have several advantages over XFAT, which means that it's more resistant to corruption. So I definitely recommend this if you're gonna use a jet drive on the Mac OS. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider pressing the subscribe button. It only takes a moment and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So when we insert the Jet Drive 330, we're gonna have this transcend icon turn up on your desktop by default. You can also see it in Finder. If you go and scroll down on the left sidebar, you'll see the Jet Drive mounted here. And if we control click and press get info, then you'll see that this drive has been formatted as XFAT. However, this does not take advantage of the Mac's hardware and it does not have journaling. It's more likely for data to be corrupted. So what I would advise most people to do is to format this card into APFS. All you need to do is go to Spotlight, type in Disk Utility. You're gonna see the Transcend drive here. In order to format this into APFS, we're gonna click on View, click on Show All Devices. And then what we wanna do is to select the entire reader here. We're gonna press the Erase button here. Within formatting, we don't have this APFS option, but then you need to change the scheme from Master Boot Record to GUID Partition Map. Then we're gonna have the option here to select the format APFS and then click Erase. And now this format is complete and now we can take advantage of APFS. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe. I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.